Here's a 2018 Dodge Grand Caravan SC, 16,000 mile, one owner with the clean Carfax in red. Uh, good looking vehicle here and an economical price point. Uh, a lot of style and a few features. I want to start with the smoked headlamp assembly you can see there as well as the black around the lower surround. You also got the blacked out honeycomb grill with the classic Dodge crosshair there. You can see it kind of gives it a sporty look with those smoke lenses and black grill. Also, as you come around to the side, you can see the black insert brushed aluminum face split spoke wheel. Light new tires, uh, 7, 8, 30 seconds. Again, brand new rotor and thick brake pad. It's so one thing we really pride ourselves here at Thomas. We do a used car mechanical check on all our vehicles. You can find the results of that inspection signed off by the technician that performed it in the glove box of all of our cars. So we take a look in through the passenger side front seat here. You can see cloth covered seating, two bucket seats, console in between. Uh, got a, uh, a column shifter there as you can see. A little bit of synthetic wood grain and aluminum highlights throughout. Some offset white stitching. A little more synthetic wood grain on the dash. Gives it a nice kind of higher end look. Also, of course, stow and go seating with captain's chairs in the second row, seven passenger. They'll fold right into the floor. I'll kind of show you how they work here when we get to the back. Manual doors and lift gate on this SE. So we continue around here to the back. I just want to show you now it is equipped uh, with a factory backup camera, as you can see right there. Like I say, manual lift on the hatch. Then I want to show you these stow and goes are real simple. The one is actually to lower the headrest. So there's the headrest in the upright position. If you pull one, it's going to flip that headrest down. Number two is going to release the hatch or the latch, excuse me, which is going to push the back down. Now just make sure that clicks, as you can see there. And then three is going to release the front latch grab a hold of this tether and just flip that right around really nice now another option which is nice with these if you just hit three excuse me pull that back up here if you just hit three I pull two you can flip this around and it's a really nice tailgating feature as you can see you can sit backwards on the seat you got the canopy of the hatch here to protect you from the weather so if you're watching a child's soccer game or something of that nature it's a really nice option with those stow and go seats so let's go ahead and drop the hatch here and continue our way around to the driver's side again i'd like to show you the matching wheels all the tires about the same depth and i'll give you a quick little look through the interior here you can see very very clean interior no rips tears stains or odors previous owner was a non-smoker and then we'll give you a look through the passenger side manual adjustment on both the driver and the passenger uh, I do want to show you real quick before we get into the inside the keys as well. See, we do have two keys integrated. It does have the factory remote start as well. You can see, so I flipped the key up here. Times two button will actually engage the factory remote start. Let's continue the tour. We got the power vents here, locks, windows, and mirrors all located on the door. Stick the key in. See the compass or temperature, excuse me, comes on first. Then we can toggle through using these buttons. There you can see 16,301 miles, very low miles. Let's continue the tour. Automatic headlamp controls over here. We got your dimmer for your interiors. Stem to the left, intermittent wiper washers, high beams, and turn signals. Again, like I said, you have the column shift. Tap left to downshift, then right to upshift. When you get into the lowest position to select any of the gears of the multi-speed transmission got your bluetooth controls here your cruise, cruise control on the left then this button was what i was using to toggle that center display so you can see as we go through distance till empty digital speedometer average miles per gallon there's your temperature again an odometer now this is a standard issue am fm satellite radio turn it on you can see you do have a usb and audio pre-in right there uh, also, we got your climate control buttons down below that. The economy mode, which selects the most fuel efficient shift points. Hazards and the ability to shut off your traction control. We do have the rear controls here as well. Uh, let's see what else we got up here. A little, it's a nice little mom feature right there. A little extra rear view. Keep the kids in surround. We got the LED lights. Got your uh, dimmer, auto dim on your rear view. No illuminated visors but fairly well equipped as you can tell. Let's go ahead and pop the hood here. Take a look underneath the dash. You can see there's a push pedal for your emergency brake. 
believe it's a 3.8 liter V6 engine. Let's take a peek underneath here real quick. There you see, 3.6 liter variable valve time V6 engine. Very, very clean, very quiet. No exhaust leaks, no fluid leaks, no corrosion on the battery terminals. You can see all your essential fill points and check points are denoted with the yellow uh, caps and dipstick handles. Makes it very easy to navigate and keep up with the maintenance on your vehicles. Just going to shut the car off here and get into the last portion of the vehicle now. As I explained, we keep a copy of the auto history report on the dash, copy of the mechanical evaluation in the glove box. The last part of making an informed buying decision is just the cosmetic imperfections. Quickly just kind of scan across here. A couple small little stone chips on the door. I mean, we try to get these vehicles as clean as possible. A couple minor scratches there that we buffed out. A couple more back there. You can see the metal flake on this really reflects nicely in the sun. It's really a beautiful car couple of little scratches there as you can see but we try to get them as clean as possible they're not going to be perfect you're going to have a couple of little imperfections but like I say no paint work all the body lines are nice straight clean no accident history a couple little marks right down here and kind of like a half moon there just into the clear not the base scratch right there on that door into the shaded part so it's a little harder to see but a couple little more small scratches on this door and on the door handles a couple little more stone chips a couple little nicks here on the back of the window co mirror cover no real dents to speak of i haven't seen any dents everything's just been minor chips and some smudges a little bit of bug damage and stone chips across this front bumper too very unavoidable Obviously, the front end is susceptible to stones. A couple across the front of this hood, too, but nothing hateful. Now, this vehicle does still have the remainder of Chrysler's powertrain and comprehensive warranties transferable to the next owner, so you can't buy this vehicle with confidence. If you're interested, excuse me, a few ways of getting a hold of us. Look us up on the web, www.thomasata.com. Give us a call at Airy Kids, 717-485-4224. Again, my name is Kevin Richards. I appreciate your time watching this video. I hope you found it beneficial, and I wish you an excellent day.